Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Busy Moms Fitness, Nutrition, Mindset, and Accountability Community. This community is for busy moms who are ready to take back their life, feel more confident, be stronger, have more energy, all while learning simple daily habits and changes that are going to allow you to reach your goals in very small steps that are going to create big results all while letting you have your wine and cheese, your beer and pizza, or whatever that guilty pleasure may be. Today, there are, as always, there's three ways to get the most out of these calls. I always like to tell you this in the beginning because you guys each have different schedules and I want you to be able to show up the way that works best for you, but also how you know you'll get the most out of them based on these ways. So number one, if you are able to ever be live, you always wanna click that Zoom link either above my head or in that email that you get to jump into the Zoom room, have the real conversation, jump in and have that real conversation, dialogue, all the things. That's the reason I go live via Zoom and not just live on Facebook because I wanna have this platform open and available to any of you who want to jump on and who are able to. Second best way to get the most out of these calls because I know jumping into a Zoom room is something either we're not super into, we're tired of doing, or we're just not able to, depending on the time of the day, is to be watching live on Facebook in real time, be responding in the comments, drop hashtag live in the comments, let me know you are here, that the chat is working, let us know who you are and where you're from and why you're tuning in today, why today's conversation got you into the call that you're going to put 10, 15, 20 minutes aside to listen and interact. The third best way to get the most out of these calls is by watching the replay, watching or listening. A lot of times it is just me talking. I will screen share every once in a while. And today I am gonna screen share for just a bit. So you will wanna make sure that you look at your phone when I screen share, but other than that, put your headphones in, walk, go do something while you are listening and consuming. One of the things that I really want to make sure that I get the point across is when you are listening to a replay or you're even here live, I want you here taking in the information. I want you incorporating what you learn into your everyday life. But also, I don't want this to be a time suck for you. I want you to be able to do this while you're doing other things. So I have a lot of clients who will listen to these replays when they're in the car on the way to work, who will listen to them on YouTube when they're working out or when they're out for a walk or whatever that may be. So we do have the replay here in the Facebook group as well on YouTube. So whichever place you end up watching that replay, drop hashtag replay in the comments. Let me know who you are, where you're from, and also why are you tuning in to listen to this replay because you are taking time out of your day and you've been intentional about showing up to listen to the replay. Why is that? So with that being the case, remember if you're live, drop hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, drop hashtag replay. I love to see who is here. The chat continues. So before before we get into today's conversation about how to unlock your best self and embracing accountability for your health, I wanna make sure that I talk about our Commit to Your Health program just a little bit here. So our Commit to Your Health program, you guys have probably got, if you were on our email list, you've gotten a ton of emails this past week. Reason being is as of November 1st, the price is going to increase. So this year I've done an early bird special, whereas normally I just open the doors and I let it be one price. Well, I wanted to give a little bit of a discount for those of you who wanted to jump in ahead of time, even before we hit November. So if you sign up for the Commit to Your Health program between now and November 1st or end of day, October 31st, you will get the program for $100 off. With that being said, I'm going to share some of the details and then I'm going to show you the link, how to use it, and if it's something you were interested in, how to sign up, just so you know how to use it. You can do it from your phone or you can do it from your laptop. So the Commit to Your Health program is a program that I run every single year. It's a women's only coaching program. The point of the program is to help keep you accountable, help you maintain your weight and help you engage and have energy all holiday season. Often as women, we spend time doing things for everyone else and our health and our time for ourselves gets pushed to the side. Our energy drains, we're overwhelmed, we're stressed, we're doing all of the things and we feel like there is no way that I can put time to myself. When in reality, we actually need to be putting that time for ourselves, even if it's just in small steps such as drinking water, making sure we have our protein and our vegetables, making sure that we are moving a little bit every day, very small things. And knowing that it doesn't mean that we're going to completely throw you into this life changing, we're going to completely change your life during the holiday seasons, because that's not going to work. We're going to really work on small attainable changes every single day where I am going to keep you accountable in a one on one basis. But because it's a group coaching program, you are also going to have a community of up to 20 other women to share your 
celebrate your wins, share your struggles, ask questions, share recipes, ask, uh, oh, what do you do when this happens during the holiday seasons? Or how do you manage this? Or I'm really stuck on getting this. What do you guys do? I'm creating that community base for you. So a lot of times people jump into this because they want to stay accountable during the holiday season. They don't want to wait till after the new year because they know what's going to happen. So if they put their health off till after the new year, they're going to over. We hit it 100 miles an hour and then we usually taper off about three, four weeks in. And the reason I run the Commit to Your Health program before and we start the week of Thanksgiving, we run November 19th through January 6th. The reason we run it this way is because if you can do these small steps during the one of the busiest times of the year, you can conquer these at any time of the year. And I want to show you that you can do this for yourself. And I will be giving you four daily tasks. There will be some bonus ones that we do that will help you keep you on track this holiday season, that will help you maintain your weight, that will help you can create consistency in your daily actions and habits. Who, which are going to help you discover what the importance of implementing, not just learning, not just watching, not just thinking about doing it, but the importance of implementing does. While having that accountability system from myself, one-on-one -on -one accountability from me, as well as others in the community. So with that being the case, I am going to do a quick little screen share here for us. Let me grab it. So, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. I'm going to go over pricing and everything like that. Do, do, do. Share screen. Awesome. So in this link right here, I'm going to post it in the comments. It is above my head, though, of this video. Click that link. You're going to see the exact page the Commit Your Health program. It's a it's a program that's going to help you put you first during the holiday season so that you can maintain in that gain. That is one of the biggest things that I heard from everyone the last couple of years is, Morgan, I loved the program because it helped to maintain my weight. I know I'm not going to lose weight during the holiday season, but I did not want to gain. So you can go through, read all of this. The price right now is... Um, your price right now is going to be $397, and as of November 1st, that's going to go up by $100. So making sure that you get ahead of it now, if it is something you are interested in, and you're like, I really don't know if I have time, what's the time commitment, is it going to fit with my schedule, is this really for me, just drop commit in the comments below. I'm going to reach out to you, we'll have a real conversation, and I'll let you know, complete honesty, if it's for you or if it's not. If you're like, hell yeah, sign me up, I'm ready, you can do that directly from this page. I can guarantee that time commitment, really your biggest time commitment is gonna be your 30 minutes of intentional movement that you do a day. Other than that, everything else is already things that you are doing, we're just refining, such as drinking more water. That doesn't take up more time in our day. You can go down here um, and you can kind of hear my story as you kind of go through some of the things that you are, if you're ready to achieve, feeling healthier, less bloated, maintain your weight, have more, control over your food during the holidays. If you're someone who feels like you overindulge, you just can't seem to stop when the, all that good food's around, this program is perfect for you because we're going to help learn how to have some food freedom while balancing out other things, but still enjoying those drinks and those foods that we enjoy, that we love. Coming down here, you'll get more details as you kind of scroll. And any of the ones that say click here to join, what you'll do is you'll just click through and then it will bring you to this payment page. If by the end of today, if you are watching this live, if you have listened and you've watched, there is a promo code that you can enter in that payment section. I'm going to put it in the comments below. So make sure to use that promo code and you'll get an extra 15% off. It does only go till the end of the day. If you are watching the replay though, and you're like, Morgan, I watched the send. If you're watching the replay and you want to utilize the promo code, send me a message and let me know. But I'm not going to give it out after today if you don't send me a message. So if you're watching this replay a week later and you want that promo code, shoot me a message so I know you're interested and I will and I will give you access to use it. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen here. If you've got any questions at all, please just drop them in the comments below or drop the word commit. We'll jump on a call. We'll kind of talk through all of that. And the reason that I'm talking about the Commit to Your Health program as we are talking about today's training on how to unlock your best self and embrace accountability for your health 
they pair really nicely together. And accountability to our health and our consistency is super important, helping us actually achieve things. So often we get caught in, oh, I've made the first step. I've been consistent for a week. I haven't seen the results. Oh, I'm tired of doing it. Or maybe we just need the accountability to actually show up for the thing. Accountability, accountability shows up in multitude of ways. So today we're gonna be talking about unlocking your best self. Why? Well, unlocking your best self takes work. And honestly, a lot of us, we may think, oh, I'm already at my best self. I feel great, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But are we? If we're, if we're really comfortable where we are, it means we're no longer growing, no longer learning. We should always be striving for our best self. I don't ever think we're actually gonna hit it. We're gonna be like, this is my best. Because once we hit that best, we have another goal in mind. But to get started on that, we have to figure out where we are and figure out what that first level of our next best self is. And then we slowly move up from there. So to be our best self, it takes consistency. It takes showing up as the person that we want to be and doing the actions that that person does. So I'm going to give you an example because I know that can be a little confusing. So if I were to say my best self is someone who is healthy. In my mind, healthy means something different to everyone. So then I got to get a little bit more specific. I have to think, okay, so healthy to me means I am exercising regularly. I'm eating whole and balanced meals. I am managing my stress. I'm getting good sleep and I'm doing things like that. But if that is what my best self looks like and I'm over here doing actions that don't line up with that, for instance, if instead I'm eating out for each meal, I'm staying up really late, I'm not managing my stress, I'm not moving my body, there's no way I'm going to be that next best self of healthy. So it's important that if we say what our next best self is, we actually do the actions to get us to that era. And that comes through accountability and that comes from consistency and that, and that is how we show up in the Commit to Your Health program. So for instance, if I am going to unlock my neck, my best self and it is a healthy person something i can start with is moving my body a little every day just 10 minutes it can mean cooking more meals at home instead of eating out it can mean going to bed just an hour earlier than what i was before or even 30 minutes it can mean that i am writing down the things that stress me out it's ways of managing and actually implementing small things that in turn will get you to your best self. And often we think, well, this is the goal and this is where we are. And I just have to do all these things to get there. But we don't always know what those things are. So we have to look at who do we wanna be and start doing those things that will get us to who we wanna be. So I wanna ask you a few questions and I'd love for you to put your answers in the comments if you are able to. And first question I'm going to ask you is what does unlocking your best self look like to you? Is it a health? Is it you looking a certain way healthy? Is it a certain job? Is it a certain financial status? Is it, um, a, is it how your family interacts? Like what does your next best self look like to you? And if it is you want to have good health, explain what that looks like. What does healthy look like to you? My next question is, so now that we've determined what your best self looks like, are you doing anything currently to get you to that? We'll go back to the example I just gave of, okay, if I want to be healthy, and I know I need to start eating more meals at home, but I continue to eat out, let's pick one meal and eat at home. Like, are you doing anything, even just one small thing to help you be your best self? And if you're not, that's okay, acknowledge that. And then I'm gonna have you pick one thing from that, one thing that you can start doing to help move you towards your best self and how you wanna be. Put it all in the comments, I wanna see it. Some questions when I normally ask this are, what if I don't know what my best self looks like? 
your best self can look like anything. So there is no right or wrong answer. What you are typing today does not mean that that is set in stone. So if there's something that pops into your mind, but you're like, I don't know if that's right, doesn't matter. Write it down, keep it, and it can change and evolve. The next question I get is, what if I'm not sure how to get to my best self? So you're not sure of those stepping stones. Well, if we give the financial, so let's say your next best self looks like being able to travel every single month. Well, we have to then look at, well, okay, I probably need to make this amount, this amount of monies to be able to do that. Okay. How can I make sure that I have this amount of money? Well, we can make sure that we have a budget. We can make sure that we follow it. We can make sure that we're also investing in the future. We can, we can kind of like create these steps kind of throughout all of it. So it's not just, it's really breaking it down into what's just one thing we can start doing. So as you are thinking and you're answering these questions, whether you're answering them in the chat or you're writing them down on a piece of paper or you're just thinking about them because you're listening to the replay and you're out and about, I want you to then think about if you saw my post, you read my email yesterday, you heard me talk about there was a time when I knew I wanted to go to the weight room at school, but I was like, nope. And I did not want to go and do it because it was unfamiliar. I didn't know. I didn't know anyone there, like all those unsettling feelings. But there's ways to make those unsettling feelings better. And part, and the biggest portion of that was having somebody to go with, having an accountability partner or group that felt the same way or a similar way that was also reaching towards the same goal. And that is what we do in the Commit to Your Health program is all of every, every single woman in the Commit to Your Health program wants to be better, wants to put themselves first, wants to have similar feelings of their health. And having an accountability partner or a group or a community, as well as some other tools that I'm going to share, are going to make sure that it's not as scary, it's not as fearful, it's not as unsettling, it's not as uncomfortable, because you are not the only one going through it. So some ways inside the program that we help make you feel more comfortable, make sure that those weird feelings of, oh, I really don't want to do this during the holidays, but I do want to do this. Uh, I just, I don't know. It's not right for me. Or oh, I failed at this, or I, I'm doing this, or whatever those feelings may be. Some of the ways that we help keep you consistent and accountable is it's, you get multiple one-on-one -on -one check ins with myself. And you can also use these tools outside of the Commit to Your Health program. You don't have to do the Commit to Your Health program to unlock your best self. Absolutely not. You can take these tools and you can implement them. They just mean you probably have to go find someone to do your check ins with. Go find a friend. So, some of the things that we do inside the Commit to Your Health program to help you feel like you can take that next step forward, feel more confident, have accountability, be consistent are one on multiple one on one check ins with myself per week. So, you and I are checking in. We have group coaching sessions, and they're similar to these Zoom calls where every single week, same time, same place, you can either join live, that's where you'll get the most out, or you watch the replay and you, and you answer in the comments and you follow along. It's another opportunity to also know that you're not the only one feeling this way. Way number three that we do is we track your progress, is we actually create these tasks that you do every single day, and we can clearly see what is working and what is not. And when we set our goals, we reflect on, okay, this week our goal was this. We did not do very good, why is that? What can we troubleshoot to make next week successful? So we get to set goals and reflect on them all throughout the program so that you don't get to the end of the seven weeks and are like, oh, well, I wasn't really successful. I didn't, no one really helped, like, absolutely not. There is so much, so many touch points of communication that you're, it's going to be front of mind rather than in the background. And if you want to move yourself forward, it's got to be front of mind. It can't be something that you're doing subconsciously because if you're doing it subconsciously, you probably don't need the help and you're probably already there. So we wanna make sure that if we are looking to make a change, it's forefront in the front of our mind, we are being asked, we are sharing, we are getting help, we are doing the things every single day. 
Some of the other things are a community to connect, share, and celebrate with. The community aspect. Our health and wellness journey, no matter, lifelong journey, no matter what route you choose, is long. It, there's no end date. You don't just get to your weight or you don't just get to your certain strength and you're like, good. I'm good. We're done. We're done. No, it's a continuous thing for the rest of your life. So making sure you've got a community to connect and share and celebrate with is going to continue to keep you consistent, continue to keep you accountable, even when you don't want to be. It's going to continue to keep you motivated as well. And one of the other things is not just learning and sharing, but also showing up and doing the things. Often we have, I don't know about you, but I'm in a lot of Facebook groups. I'm in a lot of Facebook groups. I'm in a lot of groups outside of here. And I do a lot of consuming and I don't do a lot of implementing. Making sure that wherever you are learning and implementing is wherever you are learning and consuming, you are also implementing that stuff. Because if all we're doing is learning and learning and consuming and we're never implementing, we're never going to move forward. And if we're never moving forward, we don't really need the accountability or the consistency. And we need the accountability and the consistency to help unlock your best self. Some other options that you can do outside of the Commit to Your Health program, if you're looking to do this more one-on-one -on -one, because you've got a girlfriend or somebody you're trying to do this with, is create a buddy system. Grab a girlfriend, say, hey, we're going to meet up on this day. Create a schedule. Create a plan with them. Group texts are another great thing of, hey, I did this today. Hey, I did this today. Just other ways to make sure that you're checking in on each other. It is definitely more work when you have to self-lead it and you have to self-plan it. Whereas in the Commit to Your Health, I lead it all. I am the driving force behind all of it. So to, to kind of recap here, to unlock your best self, you first have to know what does your best self look like? What specifically does it look like? And what are those action steps that are going to get you there? Then you have to make sure that Every day you're doing at least one thing that's going to get you there. At least one thing that's going to get you to that best self. And it can look different every day. The more consistent you can be with the action, the faster you'll see results. But that doesn't mean that's the only way. So I would love to know, as we are kind of finishing up here, I'd love to know what are your insights and takeaways from today's call? Drop them in the comments. Let me know whether you're on YouTube or you're on Facebook. Doesn't matter. Drop them in the comments. Let me know. The final thing is I am going to drop the link in the comments over here. That is the link to sign up for the Commit to Your Health program. All the details are there. Pricing, start date, everything you get, some additional things you get are... Every single week, you will get 30-minute group fitness recorded classes for you to do on your own time throughout that day. So it's not just your actions. You will get lessons. You'll get workouts. You will get recipes. You'll get tips and tricks for the holidays. All of that is included. And if you want to talk more about it, like I said, you're kind of on edge. You don't really want to sign up quite yet. You want to have a conversation about it. Drop commit in the comments and I will shoot you a message. Or if you don't want to drop the word and you'd rather shoot me a message, feel free as well. So on that note, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you all next time.